Hey there all you lovely people, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. This is 10 more games to add to the A500 Mini. I put a poll up during the week and 70% of people wanted to see more games to add videos. So, without further ado, I present to you my 10 more games to add to the A500 Mini. Okay, first up we have Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters. This was an arcade game that they converted to the Amiga and various other platforms. And uh, yep, it's a bit of an isometric side-scrolling shooter. And uh, very cool characters, really cool. And uh, I just love the look of this game. It looks like a comic book. It's fun to play. It was quite hard to play as well, I remember. But yes, a lot of fun. So let me have a look at the review. We've grab I've grabbed a load of reviews again, like I did with my other videos. This one's from Amiga Action. And uh, overall, it gets 78%, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's see what some of the people had to say. Steve said it was the comic book scenario that first attracted me to Robot Monsters, but it was the gameplay and sense of humor that kept me playing. And Doug said Robot Monsters is the best arcade conversion I've seen for a long time. Graphics and sound are very good and really add to the game, especially the little things like falling off ledges and bumping into walls. And Alex said, I wasn't sure about Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters. Few, because too many isometric games have failed to impress but Robot Monsters is a brilliant conversion of a decent arcade game. Uh, we've got 80 for graphics, 74% for sound, and like I said, 78% overall. So not a bad review there. I mean, you know, it's not setting anything on fire, I guess, but it's a fun game if you've ever played it before. And as I always like to refer to, the good old friends at Lemon Amiga, from 85 votes, it scored 6.94, so slightly less than the review. But for me, it was a fun game and uh, definitely worth a check out if you've never played it before. Okay, on to game number two. This is a personal choice of mine. It is Graham Gooch, World Class Cricket. I do understand that cricket is not for everybody, but, you know, we were hard-pressed back in the days to find a very good cricket game. This one, I mean, it, it wasn't the best. It was kind of like a, a game that came out on the snares, Super International Cricket. It was sort of based on that same thing, and, and Brian Lara's Cricket as well on the Mega Drive. They were all kind of the same game, really, the, the way it was controlled and everything. Let's have a look here. On the A1200, it got 80%. All looks and plays pretty much the same, except the computer itself is somehow whiter and more expensive. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah, the computer. <laughs> I thought they meant the computer player. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, uppers, best cricket sim so far. Graphics extremely neat, and the control system comprehensive without being confusing. Downers, it sounds awful. The applause sounds like a flush in, a toilet flushing. <laughs> Well, that's not glowing reference is it really yeah but i liked it and, and like i said we were we were starved for a good cricket game back in the day so you know this one sufficed and let's have a little look at what the folks at lemon amiga said 6.88 from only 24 votes so not too bad kind of above average and uh, yeah i think it's worthy of a place on here if you want a, a cricket game for your amiga this is probably the best one around okay next up is a game called lionheart which scored 87% in the review I found from Amiga Power. Visually, it knocks the hell out of any other game, said one of the reviewers here. Here we go, let's have a little look. Technically, Lionheart leaves all other Amiga and console platform games behind. The main character is suitably dynamic, except for his run, and the levels are big and wonderfully structured. Um, Down as say, the monsters are early on. The early levels tend to blend in with the backgrounds. More intelligence on the nasties would have been nice. But the bottom line says some of the best graphics and sound you're likely to see on the humble A500. Gameplay perhaps doesn't quite match the level of excellence, but it's still the best platform hack and slash around. So yeah, I think a few of you have mentioned this in the comments previously, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a good game and definitely deserves to find a way onto one of my lists. I'm sure a lot of you think it's probably overdue. <laughs> and uh, folks at Lemon Amiga seem to agree because it got uh, out of 193 votes, it scored 8 points. 37 so that's pretty impressive and yeah it's a very good game yeah, so check it out if you haven't already if you love a bit of hack and slash you love some platforming yeah you love a variety of creatures i mean like i said in the review not massively i guess but you know it's still some very fun set pieces on this one as well and uh, yeah and definitely check this one out if you're into these sort of games next up we have a classic it's iridium 2 which was a, a very big hit on the commodore 64 and obviously this was an updated remake for the Amiga and um, let's have a look here. Amiga Format gave it 94%. Classic game which has been bought bang up to date. Wonderful graphics, loads of blasting and a hook big enough to snare Jaws. Okay, well there you go then. Iridium 2 is a crazed and frantic adrenaline addled piece of action. Well there you go, that's a good review there. Those who remember the original version will be glad to know that the feel is still there, only better. Scope has been widened, the action increased, and challenge doubled at least. Forget all these other Nambi Defender clones, Iridium 2 is the Defender variant. Knobs, bells, whistles, colour flags, hooters and fluffy dice on. <laughs> That's a heck of a review, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think I played this a lot more on the Commodore 64, to be fair. 
uh, but the Amiga version, yeah, is a very good version. Probably is the superior version. So uh, if you do, he was a fan of the original on the Commodore 64, do check this out. If you, if you haven't played it, give it a try if you like a shooter. Uh, 93 votes, and they gave it 7.8 on Lemon Amiga. So they agree too. But yeah, a very good game and a worthy entry onto this list. Okay, next up we find a second shooter game, which is Super Stardust. And you know me, I don't particularly go for shooters. I've said that in previous videos and there's a, a handful of them I like. But this is another one that I love and it's just absolutely amazing. It says here, as polished asteroids clones go, Super Stardust is untouchable. The graphics are extraordinary and the gameplay matches them. The people who wrote this are bloody clever. <laughs> Well, there you go. It's uh, our old mate Stephen Bradley who's done a few of the reviews. Um, yeah, it's it's AGA and CD32 only, this game. So I'm um, pretty sure we can get it running. I know that I've checked every single one of these games have a WHD load version. Um, I haven't actually checked them on the Mini yet. So that may be another video waiting to happen. But I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that have probably played this one on the Mini already because uh, I know there were a few people saying they couldn't believe it was on my earlier lists. But yep, yeah, it's on there now and it's definitely if you have never played this game a where have you been and b play it because it's definitely worth it you will not regret it and um, from 111 votes it scored 8.27 on lemon amiga so again the folks over there agree with the inclusion of this game we're halfway through the list we haven't had a second sport or many sports games yet so here we go here's another one super tennis champions from audiogenic which scored 85 percent in this magazine i'm trying to remember which magazine it was i actually don't remember <laughs> there wasn't a lot of reviews available for this one but yeah as you can see thoroughly tested there great last ability overcomes minor frustrations there's gripes aside it's the only new tennis game available at the moment it's great fun and highly addictive and i think there's been varieties of this game before i think this is based on a, on a snes game um, and I think it came out on the PlayStation. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's the same kind of engine that Anna Kornikova's Tennis, if you ever played that on the PS1, that uses as well. So it, uh, you should be familiar with it if you've uh, if you've played, you may have played it in other formats. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. And definitely, definitely check this out if you've never played it before. Let's read a few quotes. Serving is another area where Super Tennis Champs comes into its own with the option of Pro or Easy Serves. If you select Easy, then a target appears showing you where you are aiming. All you have to do is press the fire button twice to throw and hit the ball. And I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I do like a tennis game. And uh, this is certainly one of the better ones out there as far as I was concerned. So if you've got any interest in playing any kind of tennis game, check this one out. And uh, Lemon Amiga 7.24 from 25 votes. So next up we have Power Manga from Electronic Arts, which scored a staggering 94% from Amiga format. So that's pretty good. A guy called Trenton Webb, there's a name for you. It's kind of like along the same lines as like a Populous, that kind of deal. You know, they, they were these games were quite big uh, for the Commodore Amiga. And yeah, I remember rushing out buying Power Mug. I never actually played the add-on pack, which is the World War add-on pack. But yeah, I remember playing this one a lot um, and it's very good fun. Uh, you can play two players as well. It says two human players using two Amigas can manga the power out of each other simultaneously by using a null modem cable to connect. How like, you know, ahead of its time was that for back in the day? I mean, this, this came out in 1990, I believe. So that was very cool. If it did, that's well ahead of its time, isn't it? <laughs> that's amazing. The verdict says a stunning marriage of innovative graphics and original game. Game. highly flexible package of good ideas and game design funny violent and noisy initially complex but persevere it's worth it 195 lands to conquer and data link option this one will run and run yeah very good game very fun complicated but a good tactical strategy game and the folks at lemon amiga also agree giving it 8.24 from 85 votes so yes if you're into populous that sort of game definitely give power manga a try this next game was a budget game, which for me, my brother and myself were very obsessed with. It's Rockstar Ate My Hamster, which was based on, I believe, a, uh, a Sun newspaper headline. Pretty sure it was, a, it was about Freddy Star, from what I can remember. And uh, I could only find a very small review of this one, so you'll have to bear with it. it. Just says, graphically and sonically, Rockstar Ain't My Hamster is very good. Colourful, well-drawn characters, amusing and tuneful sound effects make this playable game, especially at five quid. And it got 80%. And the basic premise is you take a couple of parody rock stars, like it's got all proper rock, proper uh, musicians like Tina Turner and Mick Jagger and stuff, but it makes up funny names. And you pick how many people you want in your band. 
you pick these rock stars and then you try and get them to make uh, number one records and you get all these weird newspaper headlines which uh, things happen to them and say it's, it's a lot of fun it's it's a wacky game that is for sure but you know i, th I think it's a lot of fun and uh, back then for 4.99 it was a, it was an absolute steal me and my brother played the heck out of this game lemon amiga it gets 7.47 from 64 votes so once again pretty good reviews this also came out on a lot of formats but the best one i played it on was the commodore amiga and i'd advise you to give it a whirl and uh, just see what you think it's it's not an in-depth game so i don't think it's going to be one that lasts forever and ever but it's certainly good for a bit of a giggle from a game that was wacky simple and fun we have something that's slightly more complicated now it's hostages and uh, this was a good game um, it's called 84 percent from this magazine again i don't know which because but i cut all the names off the side so i can't tell you what magazine this was from uh, but this was the the only review i could find of it that was decent so it says here if you've been turned down by the sas then playing the game hostages is the next best thing an embassy has been overrun by terrorists and as the head of the terrorist intervention combat team you are in control of all the operations three there are three marksmen called delta echo and mike the aim of the game is to get the hostages and the marksmen out of the building without any loss of life so that summed it up nicely for you there it says it's easy to get involved in and hard to tear yourself away and it got 84 percent this was the kicks budget review for this game and the folks at lemon amiga from 135 votes gave it 7.34 i remember way back when having this game uh, we got a bunch of games that somebody copied for us and uh, uh, we just sat there and, and half of them wouldn't work and then one day we got this game to work called hostages we'd never heard of it me and my brother and we sat there and played it for days a lot of fun and uh, definitely if you're into sort of like these tactical sort of shooters it's worth checking out i must admit i haven't played it for years so i don't know how it holds up now but i remember back then that, that we absolutely adored this game so uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments if you've played it before and uh, if you haven't played it before definitely check this out finally we have a game here that i know quite a few of you have been recommending in the comments this is black crypt by electronic arts and in this review from amiga action it scored 93 percent uh, yes it's a bit of a dungeon crawler uh, a lot of people said it's similar to a game called eye of the beholder yeah they do actually mention it in the comments in the comments on the review here uh, eye of the beholder was a real contender for the title but it was let down by sluggish disc access flaws and levels so yeah they they are comparing it wholeheartedly to eye of the beholder and yeah it looks a very good game i haven't played a lot of this to be honest with you i booted it up for the purposes of this video and just had a a quick mess around with it but it certainly seems like something i want to get more into and uh, yeah i know a lot of you have been recommending this in the comments that's why i decided to put it on here lemon amiga folks there gave it 8.27 from 89 votes and lots of people again in the comments on lemon amiga were comparing it to eye of the beholder um, and most people on there say that it's the superior game over that so i can't tell you myself but i will definitely be checking this one out i've got a feeling it's a bit like a D, D kind of deal and looks very good it does look good and if any of you guys have uh, played it in the comments which i know you have because you've been recommending it to me uh, yeah tell me if i'm on the right tracks if it's like a D, &D kind of dungeon crawler because that's what it looks like to me and uh, yeah give me your thoughts tell me what you think of this game because it does look very good okay guys so that's it another 10 games to add to your amiga uh, let me know in the comments if you've added any of these already um, i haven't added any of them as of yet so i don't know if they work but after I've recorded this video and put it up, I will definitely put them on there. I'll try and play test the games if I can. So if any of you come back to me and say this, this and this doesn't work, I'll have some answers as to why or if there's any fixes or whatever. And I hope all you guys are getting on well with, with your A500 minis. And since the update, I know a lot more stuff's working. So I've been getting a lot more comments of people saying how you know happier they are now. A lot of their games are working. Obviously, don't forget to, if you are having any problems with any games, or anything put it in the comments if i can't help you and remember again i'm not an expert so i will try my best i've helped a few people i haven't been able to help a few people so you know it's it's a 50 50 shot basically but um if i can't help you there might be someone around reading the comments that can so it's always worth a go uh, if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and yeah I do a lot of retro stuff on here um, i'm going to do a lot more so um, i'll be running a few more polls during the week to find out if, what everybody wants me to do because i like to i'd rather play to my audience and i can do anything for videos within reason if it's not too technical because i'm not you know that 
technical when it comes to all this stuff but I've certainly got access to a lot of uh, retro consoles which I will happily play on this channel so keep your suggestions coming in keep your comments going and uh, yeah let's uh, let's have a little bit of a catch up in the comments let me know like how you're getting on with your mini how you've been finding it how you've been enjoying it have you got any other joysticks to work and that I'd be interested to know how you're all going uh, me I still can't get my PS4 controller to to stay connected it connects for a little while then it disconnects and it's uh yeah it's been a bit of a nuisance to tell the truth it's been a real pain in the butt but you know hopefully uh, uh someone will help tell me what i'm doing wrong at some point and you know i can get it going but i still like the pad and i still i love my a500 mini what can i say i love it and there's a lot of potential there i think it's only going to improve as a, as more patches are released people are, are starting to open up hacks and getting workbench to work already and stuff like that so yeah there's a lot of scope for this thing to get even better so yeah if you're having any doubts about yours and what it can do for you uh, just stick in there it's only been a couple of weeks and hang on in there it's going to get even better i promise you and for those of us who love it already then if it's going to get even better i mean how can you improve on that well there you go okay guys i'm rambling now so i'm going to sign off for this latest video again let me know in the comments below if there's any videos you specifically want me to make i'll try and get them done for you and i hope you guys are all staying safe and well out there and enjoying yourselves and i will speak to you on the next video okay guys take care thanks a lot bye for now